Everybody, I'm back with another homebrew tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom homebrew forwarder. So, what, first of all, what you're going to need for this is the WAW that you're going to use, a program called Customize Me, a USB drive or a, an SD card, a Wii or a Wii U, and that's basically it. Okay, so disclaimer before this video starts. You have to have a homebrewed Wii slash Wii U to do this, so I will, like, just go watch someone else's tutorial for that. And yeah, that's basically it. So then, you're gonna go to your favorite YT to MP3 converter, and convert the song you're gonna use, which I'm gonna use Loon Boon for this example. After you download that, don't make sure to, make sure to not download any viruses but anyways after that you're going to want to go into a program called audacity it's just going to load up you're going to click file open and then you open the mp4 or 3 so then it's going to be here, so what you want to do is you want to shorten it to the 45 second mark. So just select everything past it, and click delete. So now you're going to have this. Now I'll click tracks, mix, mix stereo down to mono. Now you're going to have this. So you're gonna have that, and you're gonna click export, export as WAV or WAV. Go to wherever you want to store it. Doesn't matter where you store it. But for this example, I will use an organized file that I have. Okay, so now you're gonna to want to click browse, convert to BNS, click audio file, and then go wherever you stored your audio file open. Now here is where you can either have it have no loop or make it a loop, but you have to manually enter where you want to start it if you want to start it somewhere that isn't the very beginning of the song. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Lee. And yeah. After you're finished that, you're going to want to click convert then it will do its thing, and then boom. So after you've done that, just click convert on it. It'll convert to BNS. And then you want to click the banner and icon tabs, which these are the actual parts of the channel that we're going to be editing, like the pictures, etc. Now before I get into this part, if you're experienced in this stuff, you can edit the banner.brtl files and this files, but I don't recommend it if you don't know how to do it, because these can break your Wii if you handle them incorrectly. So now I'm going to explain what these are and what they do on the actual channel. So anything with bubble in it are the actual bubbles on the banner. Banner.fade is the actual color. Banner shape 2 is this sh shape looking thingy. 
Banner.title.tpl is the actual homebrew channel text. Banner.wave1b Banner and Banner.wave1a. These are just white and you don't need to edit them. But Banner Wave A and Banner Wave B are the ones you do need to edit, which they are actually the ones that are colored. And we got the bubbles, and then this is the generally the white. And on that, on the icon, got the icon fade, the shape, basically has everything but the bubbles. So when you realize what you want to edit, you're gonna want to go to what you want to edit, click extract, go to your PVZ folder, then it'll organize it however way you want. So you go in, you just click save, and then boom. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Okay, so after you've done that, now it's time to go into your photo editing software, which you want to open, open it, go to where every organized stuff is, and then edit it. So now is going to commence a time lapse of me editing this. So now what you want to do is to go to whichever picture you are replacing, click preview, click replace, go to as DIA index 256 colors max, click, uh, click RGB 5A3, which will bring you to this, and you go to wherever you stored your things, and then, boom. 
Now, just really quickly do this for everything else. And after that, you basically are done. So then just create, click create wad, put it in wherever you want to put it. And that's the entire creation section. Now, if you have a dolphin Wii or a dolphin Wii menu and you want to put it on there, go to tools install wad go to your wad wherever it is wad this now we'll say successfully in installed this title to nan click load system menu wait for it to load it might have a bit of a low frame right and then boom, you have your channel. So if you have a dolphin Wii, what you want to do is put your USB stick or SD card into your computer. So I just put my USB into my computer, go to your USB, so now you want to have an app on your SD card called Lite, which I'll leave a download link in the description, and then you want to make a folder called WADs, and then put the WAD folder in there from your original folder. So now, after you've done that, you can safely eject your SD card from your computer. Yeah. For some reason, sometimes it takes a while to just do this. So now you can eject it, and then now you can move over to the Nintendo Wii. What you want to do is you want to stick your SD card into your Wii. So I'm going to take out my SD card and put my new one in. Okay, so after you've done that, you want to grab your Wii Remote, and you want to go to the Homebrew channel. Now, if you have any forwarders on your Wii, you want to use the one specifically for the Homebrew channel. And then you'll see Wii Mod Lite. So you want to click Load, and then it's going to load. Now it's going to go into this menu. Now you want to go down to WAD Manager. Go select your storage device. And then you're going to see your channels. So now go to the channel you want to install. Click Install WAD. And then now you want to wait for it to install the WAD. Now it's going to click, or pre say, press any key to continue. Then you want to do that. Go back. Go back again and then click home to return to the loader, which might take a bit. Back in the homebrew channel, exit to system menu. Now, once you've actually exited to the system menu, it's just gonna load. You will go here and now you'll see your channel. 